of the great things that we uh, do in the Phoenix is to recruit as many people as possible and as are suitable for the program. So you're very special people uh, to be here. I know you will. Uh, I know you'll be very happy. Those of you who are here for the first time, and uh, it's great to see people from so many different countries uh, this time. This is what the world. This, this is what God created the world uh, to be. A place where people come from many parts of the earth. And uh, so here you are. And I um, all right. Um, there is a there is a uh, a town in Texas. It's not too far from Dallas, Texas, and uh, it's called Tyler, Texas. Very small, a rough, uh, very small town, and they had a university there. And uh, the reason I refer to that is because one of the other founders of the Phoenix Institute, we were called uh, we were called Phoenix Institute at that time. We learned that to be intelligent enough to to name ourselves. Phoenix Institute, and not uh, where I live, but the Phoenix uh, symbol, and uh, more about that, no doubt, later. So, uh, 1988, a young man named Ben Sanders walked into the office of um, George Hamm, who was the vice president, one of the vice presidents of Arizona State University, where I taught. And Ben Sanders said to uh, Dr. Hamm, who he knew to be a Christian, uh, this place is a mess. This university uh, has no understanding of what it is to be uh, to be uh, moving toward a, a right life. Uh, and he had went into specific uh, uh, specific uh, detail he was talking about. And Dr. Ham said, "Well, why don't you do something about it?" <laughs> and uh, he, and Dr. Ham also Dr. Ham also said, uh, "I will help you in any way you need, any time you need." So um, we decided to uh, uh, put, we decided to try to uh, uh, increase the number of intelligent uh, uh, people on the uh, on the university newspaper and the the uh, university senate. Well, these are all uh, mostly young men and women, but uh, they were really dedicated uh, to uh, uh, number one would be the, the person himself. Uh, the what is it? The what is it, the absolutely, uh, what is that, the man called? Uh, the, uh, we'll think about it. Somebody here will, will think about it later. Uh, and then uh, we'll think about it. Anyway, it, it was a, 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 just a, a kind of ignorance of bright people. And, and it still is, of course, in many parts of the world. And that's why I think the Lord called us uh, to uh, be where we are today and to have done what we have done. So Dr. and Dr. Ham said, "Go ahead." And so the first thing he did for us was to invite a lot of people that we know and he knew uh, to a luncheon. And uh, the luncheon uh, turned into a, a, a strategic, an opportunity for strategic plans. What can we do? And uh, the uh, uh, the decision was uh, to assert ourselves, to give ourselves the same kind of opportunity to uh, to uh, speak about what life is and what it should be. Of course, then as now, mainly uh, uh, more people than we'd like, I'm sure, uh, decided that what they want to do is to, uh, uh, is to simply be autonomous men and autonomous women, S -s people who were single for themselves, just as some people are single for the Lord. And uh, they're not very happy they were then. So uh, the, first thing, the, uh, the first thing that we did that worked very, very well was to... Uh, Network, so that eventually we had uh, uh, two people uh, as part of a campaign for the uh, leaders of the uh, of the university the next semester, and uh, so there were there were a president there were, there were a president two vice presidents and uh, a general secretary. Uh, our two people ran for uh, the, the two vice vice presidencies, and they won by a landslide, which indicated what they had said in their. Electoral speeches to uh, uh, to the people that uh, who, who, were, who wanted who we thought were the, the best possible choices, and they did. And uh, subsequent to that, uh, there became a much much more uh, a much more a, 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 a move or a wave, I guess I should say, of people seeking out things that were good for them, as well as things that they had been doing for some long time. Uh, the next step was to uh, put an editor in the chair of uh, the editor of the uh, well, the editor of the university newspaper, which had a 
a circulation of 75,000 people. And uh, the, the, the uh, character of the, of the university newspaper changed uh, 90, uh, 180 degrees, and uh, people were, you know, a lot of people were pleased with that as well. At least they knew that there was another voice, uh, an intelligent voice and a, commit, a committed uh, voice uh, in the university in two places, two, two uh, really good places. All right, I told you about that because that is the history. That's the very founding of it. Uh, then Dr. Ham uh, was asked to become president of the University of Texas at Tyler. And uh, not long after that, he had asked us if we could come down and do the same thing in uh, Tyler for six weeks in the summer period, the, the summer semester. And we said, well, sure, what do what, uh, what, what you have in mind? And he said, come down to Texas and we'll, uh, uh, we'll talk about it together. And that's what we did. And what, uh, what happened is that I uh, conceived the, uh, uh, the heroism course and that a Jewish professor, a wonderful man, uh, had, uh, had uh, a course that uh, uh, looked carefully at, uh, at the, the world since uh, the Enlightenment in the 17th century. And uh, so he, he taught that, in a certain sense, he, he deconstructed uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Enlightenment. And, uh, and of course, we saw in our purpose to Then uh, it was a very big success in, uh, in Tyler. Uh, and uh, he paid for everything for us, God bless him, uh, including rental, uh, rental cars. And uh, so uh, the students, the students that came from uh, Latin America and from Europe, as well as the United States, were, were really delighted with, uh, 